hello friends so finally poco f1 got the android 10 update and here i am showing you my update what's new this is miui v11.0.4.0 uh, QEJMIXM this is Android uh, 10 <clears throat> here you can see okay so when you are seeing this video you have already known what changes POCO F1 done after update getting update of uh, Android 10 but in my video I am showing all those points that nobody have covered or shown you what other changes uh, they have done uh, that uh, related to some bad things and good things so coming to the first uh, bad thing okay you all know that after uh, poco f1 got the update some updates on miui 10 and uh, miui 11 the system volume of poco f1 uh, drops drastically but uh, it is very interesting that nobody uh, shown this issue on YouTube or any other uh, uh, media uh, there is no discussion about this thing but uh, uh, I remember when I uh, bought this uh, POCO F1 and play music uh, I have to drop the volume to uh, one or two bar it was so loud but uh, after some update uh, on MIUI 10 and 11 the system volume uh, the media volume drops drastically uh, it is uh, very sad to say that after the uh, new update in Android uh, 10 uh, the system volume having the same issue uh, they haven't any uh, they haven't fixed any kind of uh, volume on the new update so uh, I will request you to share this video uh, maximum so that uh, at least POCO, developed, POCO developer or POCO software developer fix this issue uh, as soon as possible with a little update. Now, now coming to the next problem, you know the code that uh, star has star has 4636 has star has star will lead to the page, a hidden page that is phone information 1, 2, Wi-Fi address information, Bluetooth information. but uh, Mm, uh, it is uh, very funny to uh, you can see this it is very funny that when I dial this code in POCO F1 after the new update this message couldn't complete action this isn't your default dial pad so this is the default dial pad but uh, uh, we cannot open that hidden page okay so this is another uh, drawback of the update now coming to the Google cam uh, I am using Google cam 6.2 uh, okay the Google cam is working fine there is no problem with the taking picture or anything else but when I take a picture this gallery option will not work it will show only processing and processing okay uh, whether it is video or what is it is any picture so here I click a picture and when I open this you can see that processing HDR plus it will uh, uh, it, it will uh, display this uh, processing all the time okay and it will not zoom or anything else it is having the only option to delete but if you open this picture in gallery in gallery you will you can see this picture so after taking a picture in Google cam you go to the default gallery and uh, you have to view that picture so that is very annoying thing uh, after these three problems I haven't find any problem uh, with the new update now coming to the good things okay the first thing they promise is that the fix the scrolling screenshot issue so here I'm uh, showing an example that I open a conversation with my friend okay and I taking and I am taking a scroll screenshot here okay and I press the done button and save now I'm going to the gallery Sorry. to the gallery and here and here you can see the conversation of the full uh, scrolled uh, screenshot the screenshot of the full conversation 
is visible clearly there is no blurring so this is a very good thing now coming to the camera uh, they have made lot of changes with the stock camera here I'm showing uh, first of all <clears throat> I'm going to the setting and setting you will see that uh, they made a shortcut of the show grid lines uh, grid lines is uh, the people who know about uh, photography they know about the uh, three line rule so here is a very important thing that they have uh, put this uh, show grid lines you can see the i hope you can see this video the grid lines okay and uh, they have embedded the google lens here and uh, tilt shift is here also okay they have changed this layout and another main feature is that the camera frame here uh, 3 is to 4 9 is to 16 and 1 is to 1 so this is a very good thing under setting uh, the watermark they have provided a custom watermark previously there is no custom watermark here you can uh, put your name or whatever uh, it will show in the picture but this feature is not available in the front camera uh, the front camera will show only the stock uh, uh, watermark okay so <clears throat> this is the one thing uh, now coming to the night mode they have improved a night mode uh, little bit I took some pictures uh, so I think they have uh, make some development now coming to the pro mode uh, important feature is this they have embedded the exposure manual exposure here previously there is no manual exposure and uh, the my favorite uh, here is this that uh, you can see the down portion is yellow and the upper circle is uh, white actually this is uh, uh, focus and uh, exposure you can lock at a different location okay so when you tap this you just uh, shift your finger this is the exposure and this is the focus so this is a very good thing they have done now coming to the video in video here it is showing uh, 1080p 60 frame per second 4k so they have they, uh, they have uh, put these settings uh, uh, in this uh, notification type of thing now coming to the slow motion slow motion here you can see like previous 120 to 40 and uh, 960 but another thing is there when you press this setting here you can see that you can take uh, 1080 uh, 960 frame per second again click 720 960 frame per second so you can do this thing uh, another this is a very good thing similarly with the 120 frame per second 1080p 7 again if you click uh, 240 frame per second here again you got the option of 720p 240 frame per second and uh, 244 frame per second uh, with the 1080p so this is a very good thing again now as per the update they have optimized the game turbo mode this is very 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 good thing for the pubg lovers here the game new game turbo mode in the previous uh, i have also made a video that uh, there is tricky part that uh, some of the people are getting yellow tur game turbo mode and some of the people are not getting the blue turbo mode so there is a tricky part i have made a video on that but uh, in this uh, android 10 update they have provided the game blue game turbo uh, without any problem so under setting you you will get lot of settings under this uh, if you don't like this look okay uh, you can change this by clicking this home page orientation you click this press horizontal close this app again open the game double mode and boom so pubg mobile already loaded here you can see the gpu consumption percentage cpu consumption percentage and battery percentage uh, under setting <coughs> you get these settings uh, under performance mode this is the performance mode in this performance mode the bandwidth parity uh, to the game running in the foreground give more bandwidth parity also enhance the 
audio and reduce uh, ambient noise in conversation okay sorry friends uh, the camera i'm using to record the video uh, is uh, in low battery uh, state so i can't record uh, so i came to the uh, screen record <clears throat> so i am telling about the game turbo mode under the game dnd mode you get enhanced experience so this is the list of all the things that bother you while playing pubg the main thing i like the most is the don't open notification shed and i make it on pubg players who play with uh, four claw uh, they perhaps face this problem even i face this problem because i use uh, uh, four claw to play pubg that uh, <clears throat> it happens sometimes that the when i play uh, when i press the zoom or uh, fire button that i put in uh, upper side in the pubg play the notification shed drops down sometimes it happened but uh, it is very very much annoying uh, so uh, they have provided don't open notification shed if you make this on what will happen if uh, by chance uh, if your finger go little bit upward to the notification shed uh, drop uh, uh, drop area the notification shed will not drop uh, fully and uh, it will not affect your uh, gaming so this is very good thing they have provided and uh, the new game turbo mode is uh, very much optimized i have played uh, pubg and with the gameplay is much more smoother than the uh, previous one setting under developer option you will see a new feature they have provided yeah the game driver preference the game driver preference here under game driver preference uh, if you come to pubg or any application you, you here you uh, can uh, set the game driver preference the driver you want to use to uh, play that app so a uh, lot of youtubers told that the game driver mode is very uh, enhanced uh, so i will try it later definitely and make a separate video about the difference with game driver mode and without game driver mode under developer option uh, you will get also a display cutout option okay under this uh, there are three options corner cutout double cutout tall cutout now what are these things uh, in the upper side where you are seeing the time the network the battery percentage uh, it will uh, come little bit downward if you click the corner cut what cut cut out if you click the corner cut out it will uh, come down much more if you click the double cut out and the extreme is the tall cut out so uh, here i am first pressing the corner cut out okay it comes little bit downward uh, let me first uh, switch off the dark mode it will okay let me first okay <clears throat> this is the uh, now this is the default now i'm pressing the corner cutout okay see the changes now i'm clicking the double cutout these things come little bit downward now i press the tall cutout okay okay so this is the changes you have uh, seen now i revert back to the device default okay so uh, this is the things if you uh, make uh, make to so this is the things if you like to make these changes you can do otherwise i don't think this is much more helpful but uh, this is a, a change so i shown to you <coughs> there is uh, another option uh, that called the theming um, I don't find any changes after uh, making these things. I don't know what are the changes happening. Uh, perhaps if you uh, uh, know this, what is this thing, you can write down in comment box. Okay, now under SIM card and mobile network, you will get a option that uh, remember SIM card preference. Uh, in this uh, option, if you make this on, what will happen the the last number or which uh, from the call history 
the sim you have selected to call the user it will by default select that sim to call that user if you call from the call history okay it will remember that from which sim you have called so uh, every time you do not have to select sim 1 or sim 2 so this is also a good feature they have provided inside the file manager and inside the whatsapp on the extreme left you will get a download icon if you click this we will get a lot of cache file of the persons who have uploaded on the status and also you can uh, make a preference to clear that cache file uh, it may be clear once a week or you may set anything so from here you can see all the status of the uh, friends or families on your whatsapp so guys these are some bad and good points about the new update android 10 in poco f1 hope you like this video and uh, hope this video helped you a lot uh, please share comment and subscribe this video thanks a lot